Good morning. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, Creating in the Waiting. Today I'm coming on to do a flip through with you guys of a single signature swimline journal that I just completed for a custom order. Please ignore my hands, my printer. As you all know, I print on fabric and different things. I jammed it this morning and I had to unjam it. So I tried to scrub, scrub, scrub my hands. I had ink literally all underneath my fingernails and everywhere. So please ignore my hands. Um, but I wanted to come on and show you guys this. I feel like my favorite part in this journal, number one, it's going to be her sari silk and her clusters. Um, as well as a little snippet that I did. Two, actually. So she has a little beaded pen little cameo button charm on the closure. The image is a fabric image and I just did some layering with lace and cheesecloth, little cluster, and then just a little, one of my favorite roses down at the bottom. Just attach the button with a little bold pen. I'm loving these little medallions. I get them from a lovely young lady, Angela, not Angela, Angel in my Facebook group. So shout out, love you. Thank you so much for these. Um, this image I just printed onto a time card and it's one of our little secret writing spots. Did a cute little fabric lace cluster or not cluster, little strip at the top. Um, the digital kit that I'm working with, Life's Ever After, and it is her, oh my goodness, what is the name of this kit? Memories of the Past Kit. Yes. Um, vintage music sheet. Love this punch. Printed just this blue image onto vellum. This is actually Life's Ever After Dusty Blooms Kit. It's one of my favorite ones. So I just kind of uh, played with a couple of her digital kits, but the main one is going to be the um, Memories of the Past. Sorry, silk ruffle. And then here I just did a little paper snippet. One of our little playing cards. And then this image comes from the Dusty Blooms kit. I just printed it on this glass scene sack. I'm hoping you guys can see this. I love this. And then I just did a little fabric cluster with a little vintage hanky at the top. And then just pinned that guest check down at the bottom that I made. So I printed the background image <clears throat> onto this blank guest check. And again, they come like this. And these are sturdy ones. And I just print whatever I want onto them. Put the quote on there. All of the pages have stitching. I use a brother sewing machine. And then here I just did one of our little side tucks. So I'm about to start working on another journal and while I was making hers I just made two more. And then one of my little collaged index cards. Little cluster at the top. Lots of writing space. Sorry, silk ruffle. And then here's one of our page huggers. And I just put a little vintage vocabulary, French vocabulary. Just some little pieces for her to write on and a guest check that I made. And then I just put a little German Monopoly money, a little cluster up here, and then just a little tag. You are capable of becoming more than you realize. And this was my master board that we did um, in my group. It was Savage Take 5, I do believe. I, I'm loving just doing kind of like a wonky stitch around the image. So those are just kind of fun to do. 
some tea stain stenciled paper and then the doily that I printed onto and put in the center just some little pearl beads down at the bottom and then here's one of our um, corner huggers stay wild at heart just you know printed the image and then the quote so I run them through the printer twice actually on stuff like that and then this is just a little doily pocket here. You can put something back there also. And then I really love the way that that guest check came out. So I wanted it here. It's getting stuck on that doily piece. Another one of our little tucks with one of my collaged index cards. Made up a whole bunch of those this morning and just clusters. Just been working on some random things. I'm starting an I Love Lucy little golden book and then um, a Precious Moments one that I've been just working on kind of slowly just doing bits and pieces. So at the end of this I'll kind of just give you guys um, a view of that and I will pop on and I'm actually going to show you how I put together some of the pages for my little golden book. So little cluster here and I don't really want to pull that out. This is the beginning of anything that you want and then these are some of my favorite ways to just do those little gold paper clips. And then another one of my little playing cards. Everything is of course backed and sewn around the edges. And then here I have these like project live cards, right? And then the little Tim Holtz ephemera. So I just, you know, put the Tim Holtz ephemera onto that and sewed around it. This is just a little tuck. And honestly, it was just because I wanted something back there so that she knew that that was a tuck. I love the way that that snippet came out. So this one has a paper and a fabric snippet. And then of course the uh, words I have printed onto fabric as well. I love the way that came out. So I'm feeling like this page actually stuck together. Yeah. And then the library cards, I have a template. I just print out the blank library cards, put an image on there and a quote. And honestly, I feel like I want another cluster right here. So I'm going to see if any of the clusters that I made, I honestly, I made bundles and then um, I was doing some swaps. So I put them in the swaps also. So I kind of really don't have any left. Yeah, literally don't have any left. Let's see if I'm gonna use one of these. I definitely need something. We might make one really quick if either one of them do. I feel like it needs to be a more neutral color. So let's make a cluster really quick. But this is the journal. I'm going to tie her up and we will make a cluster. I just did some of those this morning. Those are the extras that I didn't put in bundles or swaps. All right, so just a couple things. We're gonna make a cluster, but this is the Precious Moments little golden book that I'm working on. So I have the two signatures pretty much done. I might, you know, print a few more pages. I just kind of need to go through the journal, but I made the doilies this morning. I haven't glued them down. I'm going to ink right here. So this is going to be the first signature and this is going to be the second signature. Okay. So I really love the way that that one came out. So I put this image onto the doily and then I put the scripture onto the doily. That came out beautiful. So I'm working on a precious moment. 
And then, of course, I will expand the spine and do lots of other, you know, fun things. But this is the cover of this journal. And if I didn't want to do anything else, I could get away with that spine. Let's just kind of see what we have going on. And just made that guest receipt, made that little sack, and some two sister laces. Gonna do something here, put some trim there. I'm gonna do whale tails and charms. Probably a snippet will go here. I print on high quality um, 32 pound paper and it just feels so amazing. I'm constantly filling the paper. I love the way it feels. So this is kind of really just the beginning of this journal. Not really the beginning, but I haven't done any embellishing, any clusters, just kind of lining my pages up the way I want them. Found a digital, it took me forever that I wanted to use. And then, you know, I make these, meaning I just, I print images onto the stationery. All the pages have been sewn around. It has a cream color. And then the guest checks actually have like a blush color thread. Again, I still need to glue that down. It's beautiful. This paper is very, very, very pretty. This is my porch prints, guys. It took me literally forever. There's not a lot out there, um, like faith-based or gratitude or scripture. And this, I mean, there was like two kits that I kept going back and forth with, but I felt like that one would look the best in this journal. And I was thinking, okay, if I were to keep this journal or, you know, something like that, what would I want in this journal? So this is kind of just really focused on stuff that like I would like. All right, so that's one project that we're working on. And then we have Lucille Ball. I made these doilies this morning and I'm gonna pop on with you guys or I'm gonna do it in my Facebook group, but I've made some sacks. Now, where is the cover for this journal? This is the cover. Okay, and it's gonna be kind of hard to, number one, come up with, these spines seem to be a little bit bigger yeah, they actually really are. I could get away with reinforcing these spines and using them. Most of them aren't that wide. Okay, it's going to be really hard to find journal pages for this and also come up with things. But if I were to do one and it didn't have these pages, so the little golden book pages I keep, I've already started making stationery. They're very vintage, but I'm feeling like this kind of stuff will go also. <clears throat> so when I come on, I'm going to show you how I do my paper pad. Papers. And these, there's going to be pages in between this, right? It's going to be like a journal page or something there. This is just kind of what I've done so far and the papers that I've chosen to use. I feel like for this one, I will do this Lucy image. Okay, so the little golden book pages are cute, but they're, it's making it hard to, um, 
do what I want to do in the journal. And these are going to be glued together. All these pages are going to be glued together. <clears throat> and that's one, you know, journal page that I've made. Don't know whether or not I'm going to keep this one. See, I would like to do like red, black, pinks, but this is making it, you know, kind of hard to do that. And then again, I don't know whether or not I'm keeping this. I don't like how much shorter it is. Now I'm okay with the pages being different sizes. Y'all know that. I just don't know how I feel about that page in general. Of course, those, you know, are going to get glued together. And then we will put this doily in the center here. I love that it has the candy factory in here and like the Vita Vita Vegemin. Those are my favorite ones. So my printer started running out of ink and it does this, you know, crazy little line there. So I'm not going to use this paper. I like, you know, this one. I just don't know. I just don't know how I feel about it just yet. And I mean, there's literally nothing out there that's like Hollywood actress or <clears throat> photography or, you know, I, I looked up all different sorts of stuff for this journal. I do like this. And I feel like that works. Okay. So that is what we have done so far. And Lucy, which is <clears throat> literally nothing. And I'm about to start working on two other Alice journals. Uh, little Golden Books. So we got Lucille Ball. We got so these are going to be for sale as well as one Alice. One Alice is a commission journal, so those are the little projects that we're working on. And let's come here and make a cluster for that little piece back there. So, you guys know I love Two Sister Jams wide laces. And these both come from their shop. Make beautiful clusters and snippets. So I like to just, you know, kind of stack my stuff until move it around, do whatever I want to do. I don't glue these, I sew them. Okay, so that's cute, but I'm feeling like I don't know whether or not I want a sentiment on there. <clears throat> I'm feeling like I might want a button or something. So I'm just going to sew this together. My word. So just the piece kind of in the middle because I want it to be... I don't want it to be like completely matted down. Let's see if I have a doily. Running low on my doilies. I really like that one. And I'm gonna put this one on here and I know I don't like it.
So I'm needing two sis to get their hands on some more of their tiny doilies. The tinies are my favorites. That works. So what I'm going to do here is just leave that one there and then glue this one down and find a button. Maybe I do need a little bit of glue back here. Find a button that I want on the center. And I know I'm probably going to use these cute little blingy buttons, which is why I glued that down instead of waiting and just kind of <clears throat> sewing. When I say sewing, I just mean threading my button on. Let's see what little blingy ones we have. You can put a wax seal if you want, but I already have a cluster in this with a wax seal. I really like those. So what I'm going to do is... Just take my little needle, needle nose pliers and pop that thing off the back. I'm just using three and one. goes the pen. Put our cluster on and put her in her box to go to her home. Oh, I like it this way. So originally I was going to do it like that. Well, God, I like it both ways. I really kind of like it that way because it looks like a bow. shifted over some okay I hope you guys enjoyed this just a peek of the different projects that I'm working on the flip through and then just making a little cluster together I hope that you guys are creating what brings you joy that y'all will hop over and support Misty from life's ever after check her digitals out she makes amazing she does have um just regular standard size um journal pages and kits as well as the slim lines but check her out guys and head on over to my facebook group as well y'all be blessed and create what brings you joy bye for now